puppet makers, book readers, and storytellers. I'm Miss Penelope, and I'm here with some hinge puppet how-tos from Henrico County Public Library to explore further where this idea for this very special kind of puppet came from, check out the information on your screen. Now let's talk about what kind of materials you'll need. The one thing that's absolutely essential is paper. It's great if you have something colorful already on hand, but if not, a simple white piece of paper will do. You can always use whatever markers, crayons, colored pencils, or paints you have on hand to add color to your white paper. Two more things that are not absolutely necessary, but can be helpful, are scissors. If you don't have a pair of these, don't worry about it. You can always tear your paper instead. Something else that's handy is what we call adhesive, a way to stick things together. So if you have some glue, a glue stick, glue dots, or even just some tape, those can be really, really helpful. All right, let's get started making our hinge. We'll start by taking a rectangular sheet of paper and turning it on its side, then folding up the bottom half so it looks like it's about a third of the way of the entire sheet of paper. Then take the top half and fold it down to make a long skinny rectangle. Flip the flappy side over and then we're going to take and divide this in half, making a nice sharp crease once again. Now we've got what looks like the letter V or a mountain. Let's go ahead and flatten it out with the flappy side on top again. Now we've given ourselves a nice line to follow with this fold, so we'll take one side and fold it in until the end meets that line that we've made for ourselves in the middle. Now we can do the same with the other side. So the two of them meet in the middle. We'll make that bend and we've got the letter W or even an M. You'll see when you squeeze one end, it makes sort of a pocket. That's where your fingers go, as many as will fit. The pocket on the other end gets your thumb and that's your hinge. Now that you've made your basic hinge, it's time to let your imagination take over. If you lack scissors or glue, you can always use a pen or a pencil to draw whatever features you like on your puppet. I've made this one pretty elaborate, adding lots of things to the original hinge. Swim away, swim away! I bet you've been reading all kinds of books with lots of stories that have characters just waiting to be turned into puppets. Did you know that in addition to Henrico County Public Library's physical collection, you can also check out eBooks on our online platforms such as Hoopla and Overdrive. Here's some examples of titles waiting for you there now. Froggy Went a Courtin, The Frog and Toad Stories, and one of my personal favorites, Froggy Gets Dressed. I've decided to make a simple frog puppet. This is the mom from Froggy Gets Dressed and she has one of the funniest lines when she says, Froggy, you forgot your underwear. Have fun creating your own hinge puppets and be sure to share any photos or videos with us over here at Henrico County Public Library.